Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borek. And first and foremost, if you enjoy the content, please can you subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing. This is going to be the latest NFL update on Carson Wentz now being on the move a day after Russell Wilson was on the move. And maybe, who knows, maybe Kyler Murray will be moved in this offseason as well. But Carson Wentz moves on to the Washington Commanders as he entered back, excuse me, into the NFC East. Um, last year, Washington was a team that collapsed towards the end of the season, but were taking advantage of a weaker division, and that's really the only reason why Philadelphia Eagles were able to actually get in the playoffs again, a weak division, where in comparison to yesterday's video on Russell Wilson, which I'll link at the end of this for anyone that wants to watch it, he's going to a pretty strong Denver Broncos team, especially if Von Miller returns and they get some other of the rumored cats in there. That is really more of a Top contending team that was that quarterback away, not as squeaky clean as it was when Peyton Manning came in because they have to replace players that they let go like Font and Miller. But <clears throat> when you have very good team put together already and you just were kind of a quarterback and a few little things away, that that's going to make that a even bigger thing for the Broncos where this trade for the Commanders, the, getting Carson Wentz is obviously a upgrade to Taylor Heineke, but one of the rumors going out um, as Carson Wentz departed, were that a reason was poor leadership and reckless style led to an exit from the Colts, which was similar to some of the lingo you would hear around here in Philly when he departed for <clears throat> um, the Indianapolis Colts, which is also why it is kind of impressive the Eagles were able to get a eventual first-round pick uh, for Carson Wentz. Um, only a year ago, so it definitely is interesting from that perspective if you look at it, how the Eagles were able to walk away with a future first-round pick where they now have for Carson Wentz. The Colts got a 2022 third, a 2023 third. That can become a second if Carson Wentz plays 70% of plays and a 2022 second-round pick. So they got a good Hall uh, for Carson Wentz still, but that's obviously because of the peak potential. They're hoping the play outweighs some of the reports of his personality and there being rifts and it being his uh, leadership issues and the way that his style is that people don't always jive with can be an issue. They're hoping that that talent's going to outweigh that because he had that great MVP season in 2017 that everyone's going to admit, especially someone like an Eagles fan like me, was great. But then he really fell off, and it seemed like he was having those leadership issues, those issues within the locker room. And the same things now you see that were reported in Indianapolis. So it's about being able to, first and foremost, as a quarterback, you have to be a great leader. And that's also why I think, as a stopgap guy, they ended up having Taylor Haneke one play in the playoff game when Alex Smith was a little bit too hobbled to play in that game, and two, continued to be their stopgap guy because people rallied around him. He was a good leader. He wasn't the best, obviously, NFL-level quarterback, Carson Wentz is far superior than him as a as a level of where they are as an NFL level quarterback. But in terms of rallying guys around him, it seemed like the team played well around Taylor Heineke, and they t and he kind of rallied the troops well, similar to how Nick Foles is not the best NFL level quarterback, minus the year he did win the Super Bowl for the Eagles. But they always talked about his leadership skills. Carson Wentz has to have that side of it on top of the talent that we saw him have before, and kind of work his way back because he has been okay in the past couple of years, but he hasn't been anything close to Carson Wentz when he first started his career. And yes, he did have the big ACL injury, but we saw guys like Adrian Peterson come back from big injuries. We saw it, um, um, him come back from the ACL. We saw guys like, obviously, when Brady got his one big injury in his career when he threw that ball and still completed it and messed up his ankle and lower body, and he came back from that. We saw Peyton Manning come back from the neck. So there's different people that come back from things. Wentz has been solid, but he has to be a little bit more careful with the ball. He has to try to know when to not overextend plays, because I still saw that from watching him, since I did watch a decent bit of Indianapolis, because they had to hit a certain snap quota for us to get the first-round pick, which he did. So hopefully, <clears throat> um, for your Colts, you Colts fans out there, he hits the certain snap quota for you guys, so you can get that extra second-round pick. Um, that can become a second to 2023rd. A third round pick that become a second if you play 70% of the snaps. This is going to be an interesting trade because 
the Washington now commanders. They have a good team. They were a solid defense last year. They were an offense that, though, is lacking. Where the, They don't have a Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton. They only have a scary Terry, really. And then they have a couple other guys that are just, like, adequate at the receiver position. Like, DeAndre Carter can catch a few balls, but he's not a very good NFL wide receiver. Um, Curtis Samuel barely, barely played last year, so maybe if he can be in there. Ricky Seals-Jones is an okay tight end, but they don't have anybody that plays up to what the, the talent of even the Williams, the uh, Cortland Suttons, and the Judys of the Broncos play. Plus, I would say that would give the Broncos, especially if Miller and some of the other rumored cats, to come in there. Maybe they even pick up a Tyron Matthew, the Broncos. Um, they, they're a team that I think a lot of guys are going to go to because now with Russell Wilson, they're a team that probably is a top five Super Bowl contender. I don't put the Washington Commanders after getting close runs by any stretch of the imagination in the Super Bowl contention race. I put them in a better chance to contend for the division of the NFC least uh, because Carson Wentz has the more talent than Taylor Heineke. But again, in conclusion, the biggest issue with Carson Wentz is he hasn't really necessarily won on top of the leadership issue, which is the biggest issue with him and his style where people drive with that, like have been rumors coming out of Philly and now they're the same rumors of him when he exits the Colts. Uh, people don't jive with his reckless style and his leadership style. You have to have that side as a quarterback. You have to be able to have people want to follow you and run through a brick wall for you as much as you have to be skilled. And if Wentz doesn't have that, that's a big issue. But the other issue is early in his career, he seemed to make a team better around him. Lately, he kind of just plays to the skill level around him, which is fine. That's an average NFL quarterback. But for what he gets paid... And the reports were that they're absorbing all of the over $20 million of his contract. <clears throat> the big contract Wentz has, the commanders, that's a huge risk because they're taking on the entire um, contract to see what he can do. Where Wentz, at this point, you would label him as overpaid just because of how he played. He hasn't played to the MVP level and he's paid as a kind of MVP level talent. But this has been a video on the Carson Wentz trade going to the Washington Commanders. It's going to be interesting to see how Eagles fans react to him back in the division. I have a feeling I know how we're going to react to him. But also, it's a good trade for the commanders in the sense of skill-wise upgrade from Taylor Heineke. The difference is, though, we saw it here in Philly, the better leadership qualities that people played around Nick Foles and played for Nick Foles, just like they played for Taylor Heineke in Washington, is Wentz going to be able to be a good leader in Washington, kind of mature from realizing he's already been out of two spots and there's been rumors about his bad style and his bad leadership, well, maybe now he'll shape up, but we have to see that remains to be seen. But have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been the most recent NFL update on Carson Wentz getting traded to the Washington Commanders from the Indianapolis Colts. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to be interesting to see how Carson Wentz is able to do where, again, they got a 2022 third-round pick, a 2023 third-round pick that becomes a second if Wentz plays 70% of the snaps, a 2022 second where the Commanders got a 2022 second, and Carson Wentz. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the offseason.